In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a progress bar in Canva. So the first thing you want to do is open up your project or make a new design, it doesn't really matter. And then what you want to do is click over here to Elements, and then go in the Graphics, press See All, and then look for this box, um, kind of box graphic, okay? So you want to type in Box up here, there we go, and simply find this one and just scale it up to the scale you'd like it to be. In my case, I'm going to leave it in the middle over here. There we go. And that's your first part. Now, the second thing we need is for you to go back into elements and use a simple square. Okay. Now you want this square and you want it whichever color you'd like it to have. Let's say I want it in red. Okay. And this is going to be kind of what loads up inside this box. Then when you zoom in, you want to kind of make it so it goes just a bit over the border. There we go. As you can see, that's perfect. Now, in case you want this to be uh, a little bit more round, you have to, you can go up here to the border style, as you can see, and then enable border rounding. And you can just drag it out here. And let's say we want it very round. So let's say let's leave it at this. Okay, that's cool. But you can play around with it as much as you'd like. Now what you then want to do is the second step is make this long enough to fill the uh, entire so box essentially okay so you want to measure this out so that it fills the entire box there we go it's now filled and what you then want to do is simply uh, put it on the very left just before the beginning okay there we go it's now exactly before the beginning and then what we want to do is animate this so it's going to go straight in there okay and i'll show you how to do this right now so you want to click on this red thing that's going to load in go to animate up here and then in case you're under page animations look for element animations and then click this create an animation you want to click on this and if you read carefully down here it says hold shift whilst dragging to create straight lines okay and it says control the speed of your animation by moving the element faster or slower and stop dragging the element to complete your animation. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So we're going to hold down your shift key on your keyboard and simply move this object as much as you'd like. So let's say we want it to load in fully. There we go. Bam, it's now fully loaded. As you can see, I now released shift and there we go. Now, as you can see, this is kind of bad, okay? If you replay the animation, uh, it's going to look quite bad. Now let's replay the animation. As you can see, it's kind of stopping and then going again and stopping and going again. It's because I haven't really made a uh, steady, steady line with my mouse. If that happens to you, you want to go back into your uh, animation. So click on custom and then press steady up here. And as you can see, it's now going in perfectly steadily. And now the second thing you want to do is put this that we just animated uh, in the uh, kind of behind this box. So you want to click on position up here and then click backward. There we go. Now, once you've done this, if we play it again, as you can see, it actually looks like it's inside this box over here and it completes to the very end. There we go. And then what we want to do is kind of hide this left portion where there's um, the red visible, okay? And the way you do this, so the easiest way is to just pick a another shape. So let's say we want another square over here and you want to make it the same color as the color of the background. So in my case, it's going to be white. And then what you do is just simply cover this up just like I did over here. There we go. And now once everything's covered up and you can only see the box and of course have your uh, blank background, you then can play this uh, animation. So if you click play over here, as you can see, it starts smoothly loading in. And there we go. We've just made ourselves a progress bar in Canva. Now, if you want to download this, you can go up here to share and then um, over download over here. And you have to make sure you download it as an MP4 video. So it's going to download it as an actual video, not as a PNG, as a still image. And that's pretty much it. Now that's how you create a progress bar in Canva. And I hope this video helped you out.